I might take you out myself to a movie. Mate, go away and look up the word lesbian. Don't laugh, but he thinks he stands a chance. Oh! He does. He asked me out today twice. <laughs> On the house. Kiss is free too. I'm fine with the tequila, thanks. I'll be back. You can run, but you can't hide. Do you find the accused guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You're wrong, man. He's innocent. He didn't do anything. Look, next time you see Victor, will you pass on my commiserations? You can't stand the sight of him, can you? Hmm. Not really. Do you think you killed Jeff? You and Delphi both. Hmm. I'll have something to say to you. Come on, sir. This is for my uncle. Damn, I'm not finished with you. Thank you. should be in jail, not Victor! Get up! Get up! Stop it! What are you doing? Idiot! Get out! Just get out! I need to get to the hospital. I'm okay. I didn't start it, Dolphy. I don't care. I don't want to know. Just go and get yourself checked out. I'm okay. I just need to get my breath back. Here we go. You can't drive like that. Get in the back seat. Everyone's really upset about your dad. Look, I'll call you when I get home, okay? Yes, I promise. Bye. You okay? Not really. Joe's really upset. Her dad shouldn't be in jail and I shouldn't be out drinking. Yeah, well, it's not like we're celebrating. She knows that. She just wants someone to take it out on. Hey, Nick, is uh, Delphi around? Yeah, she was. She left a few minutes ago. Oh, I heard about the verdict. Hey, is, is she okay? A bit shaky on it, but we all are. Excuse me. Hey! Jake, what are you doing hanging around in a place like this? I know, tragic hey? There's a much better bar down the road. Oh, careful. Might have to have a word with Mr. Pree. Don't tell that old bag where we hang out. You don't want her cramping a start. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Oi! ID. It's just your bad luck to be acting CEO when Jeff decided to come clean. Victor's the one I should have had to deal with it. Nevertheless, euthanasia is the topic du jour and the DHB wants a whooping boy. Can you take me off the roster for a day or two? Well, if I have to, I have to. Bob, I'm sorry to have called you in. Hey, I'd much rather be working than slopping tequila down my throat, wouldn't I? <laughs> we need to pull all Jeff's patient files and summarise them. Uh, when do they want them? First thing tomorrow. I think I need another drink. Oh, a message from Maya. Don't forget the cleaner's coming. What cleaner? We don't have a cleaner. Maybe it was someone wanting phone sex then. One of your clients cleaners? And did you hear that? It's harassment. One smart remark, Lena, and I doubt it'd be the last one either. Oh, so I'm just supposed to put up with it? It'll pass. These things do. And in the meantime? Perhaps you'd like to deal with the patient in cubicle five. Tama, you don't solve things with violence. What were you thinking? I saw him in his car, man, talking on his phone. He was laughing. You should have seen it. It was like he was pleased with himself. Yeah, and now he's going to call the police. Do you realise how badly we don't need that now? <laughs> he deserved it. Oh, God, it's not about him. It's about us, the Fano, Staying strong for Uncle Vic, coping. Not about some twisted little lying creep. We're better than that, Tama. We're bigger than that, and you know it. Yeah, I know it. Well, you start behaving like it then. 
Where is he now? I think he's with Delphi. Delphi? Yeah, we finished work at the same time. What, you walked off and you left him with Delphi? Well, I can go back and get her. Well, they won't be there now, will they? Nah, she's probably taking him to Shortland Street. You had better pull your socks up, boy. Because we've got a long road to hoe here and the last thing that this family needs is you taking the law into your own hands. Be afraid, buddy. Be very afraid. That was good for me. Was that good for you? Magic. <laughs> you nasty girl. Where are you going to hope so? Now he's not going to wash for a week. Oh, God. <laughs> Oi, hands off. Putting the notes in with tomorrow's banking. It's all mine, mate. What? My dear, my dosh. And I've got to pay Kelly. Yeah, 100 bucks. Good day. Since when was tonight's take going in your back pocket? I bought the grog out of my own back pocket. And the mix is the whole shebang. Unless you're going to charge me for the ice. What did you say to me? If I wanted more money, I had to earn it. Hi, Craig. Hello. Yeah, it's a bit much, isn't it? I was meant to be meeting friends, but I think I must have left. Yeah, I was hoping for a quiet drink. Mm. Well, the bistro is quieter. Can I buy you one? Yeah, that'd be great. I long for the day that I meet a nice, intelligent, uncomplicated, ordinary woman. Ditto. Oh, make mine a bloke. What's happened? Janine, it turns out, is not all that she seems. I hesitate to use the word predator, but... The chat room thing? Yeah. I opened my laptop. She'd been using it. The emails were still on the screen. Oh, she didn't even close them. That's a bit cheeky. I don't think she meant to. Mind you, she hardly denied it. What was she after? Guys with money? Pretty much. She'll probably do better with the car salesman. You threw her out? Didn't need to. She left of her own accord. And Braden? She'd already put him on a bus to his dad. His lovely, non-abusive, wouldn't hurt a fly dad. Sticky, I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve this. Didn't I? Good old Sticky, can't see what's right in front of his face. Couldn't bumble his way out of a paper bag. No, stop it. The only reason I said I felt funny about Janine in the first place was because I didn't want you to get hurt. Hey, we all get it wrong sometimes. Look at me and Logan. Please, just don't waste your pity on me. It's not pity. It's what I'd say to any of my mates. Tama, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the taxi to come. Okay, I'll call you when I get home. What? Who was that? I still think you should go to the hospital. No, there's no need. I thought you said you had a fractured rib. Don't they need x-rays? Fractures can heal themselves. I'll be fine. Look, thanks very much for driving me home. I really appreciate it. I'll call you a cab. I already have. Are you going to go to the cops? I'll see. It was a pretty vicious attack. Well, maybe you deserved it. Well, maybe that's a bit harsh. You must be able to see where Tom is coming from. He's really wound up. Yeah, I got that. You really want to cause more trouble for that family? Look, Telfy, I didn't set out here to cause trouble for anyone. All I'm saying is maybe it's time Tom figured out the actions of consequences. Same lesson as Uncle just learned. Do you want a cup of coffee or something? It's my taxi.